winning goes a long way toward boosting your fan club. Hideki Matsuyama learned that after winning his first PGA Tour event at Mirfield Village Sunday, and one of his new fans knows more about golf than your average bear. I just think you've just, you've, you've just seen the start of what's going to be truly one of your world's great players over the next 10 to 15 years. Hard-earned praise because winning this year's memorial required world-class results. Yeah. Matsuyama started his day watching Kevin Na storm up the leaderboard from seven strokes down to put pressure on the lead groups. And the leaders around Matsuyama crumbled under the pressure. Veterans like world number one Adam Scott and Masters champ Bubba Watson faded Sunday. Matsuyama even cast some doubt on himself as he stumbled late. I hit it in the water at 16 and then turn around and, and make up another bogey there at, at 17. I wasn't sure. But Matsuyama reassured himself by birdieing 18 for the fourth straight day to force a playoff with Na. And to be able to birdie 18, it turned the, the day all uh, completely around. Just in time for the playoff hole. Even without the driver he accidentally snapped on 18, Matsuyama rode the momentum to a win, earning the coveted handshake and respect of Jack Nicholas. This young man's going to win a lot of golf tournaments. Uh, his first one in the United States, you got to start somewhere. And he started here. But to win it here on, on uh, Mr. Nicholas's course is, is, uh, is the best ever. A historic day on Sunday at the Memorial Tournament. The champion decided in playoffs for the first time in 22 years. That champion, 22-year-old Hideki Matsuyama, who becomes the youngest player ever to win Jack's tournament. In Mirfield Village, Nathan Takich, NBC4.